Grom Hell Stream Easter egg discovered with Gore Hell. So Gore Hell, you guys know you can get the HD version of it now in uh, in the in the uh, Mega Dungeon. But what you don't know is if you have the right prerequisites, an image of Grom Hell Stream himself will pop up every once in a while and salute you. So how do you get this? What do you need? Well, if you're an orc, first of all, this can happen. You have to be an orc or a Maghar orc. You have to have chosen the Warsong clan and have the banner up. And then you have to have Gorhowl either, you know, in your bag or equipped. If you do these things, an image of Grom Hellscream himself will pop up every once in a while as an Easter egg and give you a good old salute. Look at that. I love when shit like this gets put in the game, especially when it gets discovered later on by players and like it was never data mined. I, I'll be honest, data mining to me is kind of shit. I don't like to know things a lot of times before they happen. I want to play the game and experience things, but, uh... Yeah, that's something I'll rush and never do. Well, I don't play any orcs, but I do think it's something cool, like I said. So I'm a little bit of something extra uh, that could, uh, you know, could spice up your, your day a little bit. Moving on, Amidrasil will have, this is in the new raid, will have a skip. And the skip will be at Smolderon, the uh, third to last boss. We've had skips in all of our raids, there's no surprise. It's always just interesting to see which boss is going to get the skip. It'll be Smolderon. Yes, the leader of the uh, of the Firelands, you know, group and everybody else in uh, all the other Lava Boys. He is our new Fire Lord. He has been the Fire Lord uh, since we defeated Ragnaros. So uh, he will be the skip. We'll be getting little shards off of him every time we do the raid and uh, be able to do that. Profession recipes from Avarice and the Vault will drop, uh, and Vault will drop in a major sill. Yes, this has been a thing that they've been doing. So if you've had really shitty RNG with professions, you're going to be able to get, uh, you know, some recipes in the new raid. Yes, so Ig Igara the Cruel, which is the second boss in the new Amidrasil raid, will drop an overflowing satchel of pilfered recipes. This will give you, you know, some random recipes from uh, the raid, and uh, you'll get your shot, the previous raid. So remember, this these are random recipes from Avarice, or that never dropped in your vault. You know, you'll be getting a shot to get them once again. So this is good for anybody who's really a profession Andy. I'm not one, by any means. Uh, but you'll get your shot at getting some old profession recipes that you may have just never gotten due to bad RNG. Unlock enhanced visuals. Yes, Blizzard keeps doing this, and by the way, I think it's great. The visuals of your armor set have always been the best way to kind of tell how great a player is. Now, Transmog changed that. There used to be a day where you'd walk into Ironforge, see somebody in full judgment gear, and, you know, no, oh god. That guy's a badass. That guy's a no-lifer, but he is my idol. I want to be just like him one day. Go tell your parents about him. Well, now, they are doing it again. So they did this for Season 1 and 2. Remember Season 1, we had the lightning effects and stuff. Season 2, you had the little bit of smoke effects coming off the back. Well, for Season 3, again, you will have to get the Dragonflight Keystones for the Hero for Season 3, which is a 2500 rating. And you will get where the fun begins. Yeah, definitely fun to get a 2500 rating. You will get the Emerald Blossom Dreamstone. Now, there's no indication yet as to what this effect will be. But like I was saying, if we just go back in our heads and review, Season 1, we had the lightning effect. Season 2, we had the uh, little smoke effect. So they've always kind of been related to the raid itself. So if I had to guess what Season 3's effect will be, it'll be something green, something blossomy, who knows, maybe some plants on your armor, I don't know. But I, the reason why I like this is it's very cool. And that it's one of those few things in WoW that's still a visual indication of skill. Right, you can look at somebody wearing the armor with the Emerald Dream Blossom, uh, you know, effect equipped, and you'll be like, "Oh, damn, this guy's a 2,500 rating." You don't got to check about, you don't got to equip, you don't got to inspect him or anything. You just know it. Big dick swinging, walking by, very easy to see. Now, I like these, and I hope they continue to do them uh, for seasons going on beyond Dragonflight. Uh, but this one will be called the Emerald Blossom Dreamstone. I'll make sure to review the effect once it has uh, once it has been data mined. And last but not least. You guys have phones, don't you? I sure hope so, because pre-registration for Warcraft Rumble is now available. If you pre-purchase the game or pre-register on Google Play or the Apple App Store, you will unlock a great little kit here. Uh, the Mechagon Cobalt Skin, Mecha Cobalt Portrait, 
and the Mecha Tower skin. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, this is a little um, mobile game based on the World of Warcraft franchise, or, you know, based on the Warcraft universe. And uh, I've never played it, don't know anything about it yet. I'm sure we're going to get more announcements. Yes, at BlizzCon 2023, they'll probably give us an official um, drop date for this app. But, uh, you know, it's a mobile game. So it is what it is. You get in there, you play it, you're probably going to have to spend money to actually be good at it. Uh, but there it is. You can get a little kit if you're really excited about it and pre-order it. 